What is a run loop? This is a question that I've been asked in iOS interviews before, and it's something that every iOS developer should know. And so we are going to read some definitions on what a run loop is, and then I'm going to explain it in a much easier way. Let's dive in. First of all, you'll find a run loop inside of Xcode. If you go to the debug navigator tab, as shown here, and you want to click on view process by thread. And if you look down the stack, you see CF run loop run. Now let's look at some definitions. A run loop is an event processing loop that you use to schedule work and coordinate the receipt of incoming events. The purpose of a run loop is to keep your thread busy when there is work to do and put your thread to sleep when there is none. A CF run loop object monitors sources of input to a task and dispatches control when they become ready for processing. I don't know what the hell this means. So an easier way to think of a run loop is think of it as a while loop that is continuously running in the app to check for any events. Maybe a better question to think about is why you need a run loop. A run loop is needed to check for events such as user input, like tap gestures on buttons or swipe gestures, pinch gestures, etc., or needs to check for push notifications, OS notifications, or check for any backend updates to the app. An example here would be if we were to implement a run loop, uh, it would look a little something like this. So we would have um, an exit condition, and right now I'm just making it really easy by creating a variable called exit condition. And we have our run loop called main loop. And we also have a few other functions that does things once um, an event uh, appears. So we have a function called get next event and then process event. And we're gonna wanna put that inside of the main loop. And the main loop is a function that waits for events. And so inside the main loop, we're gonna say, while the exit condition is false, we want to call get next event and process event. This would be an example of how a run loop would look like if we were to implement it in Swift. But with Xcode, it's implemented in C, 